Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to change a Sony 4K PAL AX53 camcorder into NTSC. So instead of getting 25 frames a second in 4K, you can get 30 frames a second in 4K. And in Full HD, instead of getting the 50 frames a second, you can get the 60 frames a second. And obviously in high speed, instead of 100 frames a second, you will get 120 frames a second. First thing you need to do is download the program. Um, I've got the link in the description if you go and get that. Um, then the next step you will need to do is get your PAL Sony AX53 camcorder, turn it on and we need to put it into 24p mode. Go to setup and then click once down. You'll see the 24p mode. Click on 24p mode. Yes, okay. Now the camera will restart in 24p mode. The camera's back on. We're in 24p mode. Um, so now you'll see up here it's uh, HD 24p. You go into image quality. You cannot adjust the frame rate, it's blanked out. Um, you can go into the 4K option, and the same thing will apply here. Image quality frame rate is blanked out but that's about all you can do but anyway once you're in 24p mode 4k 24p up in the corner there then what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect your camcorder to the PC using your USB cable so you connect that up right once that's connected um, it will say something like that on the screen. So then all you got to do is open the program that you downloaded from the link and then now that's open you click on get camera info and it should show you the info on your camera. Uh, should show you product code, serial number. If it doesn't, and if it shows some sort of error, um, use a different USB port or change the cable, use a different cable. Um, but it should give you this. It should say that it's connected. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to need to go to tweaks, the tweaks tab, and then start tweaking your camcorder will show you a message the screen will turn off and then all the rest of the following instructions are going to be on the computer screen so you wait for a box to appear on the computer screen and there we go we have the options now the option that we're going to need to give us the NTSC frame rates is we're going to need to click this box at the bottom to unlock the protected settings you need to disable this sounds like the wrong thing to do because you want to enable the power and NTSC selector um, and it looks like it's already enabled but that's not that that is basically enabling the 24p mode but once you're in 24p mode and you disable this it gives you the NTSC functionality. So now you've done that, you click done, the camcorder will come back on. It is now reconnected. So now you can disconnect the USB on screen. <clears throat> if we go into setup, and to the spanner icon again and then click down once 
you're going to notice that there's no 24p option anymore. So that option has gone, but we are still in the 24p mode. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the main camera and then we're going to go into the menu and image quality settings. Now we are in 4K mode as you can see. It says 24p which is 24 frames a second and we're still at 100 megabits, megabits per second. So if you click frame rate which is now available you've now got the option to select 30. So now we can select 30 frames at 100 megabits per second in 4K. And now you can see that up in the top corner over here. Now you can also go into file format, put it into the HD mode, and then go into image and quality, frame rate, 24 frames. But now you have the option to select 30 or even 60 frames per second at 50 megabits per second in HD mode and now you can see that over here in the corner it's 60 60p at 50, 50 megabits per second now if you want to revert it back to um, back to a PAL camera as it was um, standard then what you do is you reconnect the USB cable because you won't be able to turn it, take it out of um, 24p mode now because the 24p mode has been disabled so it's stuck in that mode forever until you change it um, by connecting it back to the USB so you connect it back to the USB um, you do the camera info, get camera info to make sure that it's connected properly go to the tweaks tab, start tweaking the camcorder will turn itself off again you'll have options appear on the screen on the computer screen um, wait for them to turn up now they're on and now all you gotta do is re-enable power NTSC selector and then untick the unlock protected settings option and then click done now the camera will come back on once the camera is back on you can disconnect the USB and now you can go menu go into the setup go to the little spanner icon click down there it gives you the option to cancel 24p mode so when you go out of um, 24p mode and then when you come back into 24p mode um, the settings for NTSC 60 frames or 30 frames a second will no longer be there and you will have to connect it to the computer and run the program again that's, that's how you get the Sony AX53 PAL camcorder to run in NTSC frame rates. So I know a lot of people were having trouble with this and uh, there was no instructions that I could find anywhere that actually gives you a detailed explanation on how to do it. So I thought that I would make this video because I know that a lot of people have been having trouble for a good couple of years so hopefully that helps and uh, thanks for watching